Hello, this is Chris, technical leader in the Customer Experience Centers. In this video, I discuss how to troubleshoot output drops on all Catalyst 9000 series switches, which are based on the UADP 2.0 or 3.0 ASIC architecture. Start by identifying the interface that is experiencing output drops. The command show interface pipe include drops can be used to quickly determine how many drops are occurring and how quickly they are going up. In this example, TE101 is actively experiencing around 20 to 30 packets dropped around every 10 seconds. Next, identify which specific queue is experiencing the drops. Because this interface is on switch one in the stack, I use the command show platform hardware fed switch one QoS Q stats interface and then my interface. In the output that appears, there are two primary areas of focus. The first half of the output shows the total number of bytes that have been successfully sent out of the interface, broken down by output queue. In this example, the switch is using an auto QoS policy, which makes use of all eight output queues and maps the majority of traffic to the third threshold in each queue, which is referenced here as in queue TH2. The second half of the output shows the total number of bytes dropped on a per queue per threshold basis. This non-zero value represents drops we are seeing in the show interface command. It indicates drops are specific to the eighth class map in our QoS policy. Output drops happen when the switch runs out of egress buffers for the interface and is unable to buffer the entirety of a packet burst. You can view the buffers available to the interface using the command show platform hardware fed switch one QoS Q config interface and then your interface. Again, if you're looking at an interface belonging to a different switch in the stack, substitute switch one with your switch number. There are two columns in the first third of this output that are important to note. These values represent the total hard and soft buffers available to the interface. Let's quickly explain why this is important. On every UADP ASIC is a block of memory used by all of the front panel ports for queuing functions. This is our buffer memory. This memory is carved by the switch into thousands of 256 byte chunks, which make up the individual buffers. From this pool, small amounts are reserved exclusively for specific interfaces. These are called hard buffers and are allocated any time a priority queue is configured on the port. The remaining buffers all become part of a common pool, which any individual interface can use as needed. These are called soft buffers. The QoS queue config command tells us that for this interface, for Q0, which represents our priority queue, it could use a maximum of 75 of these hard buffers which are allocated to it. And it can also borrow a maximum of another 75 buffers from the common pool for a total buffer capacity of 150. The remaining non-priority queues can only use buffers from the common pool and have a soft buffer maximum limit represented by the numbers shown in this column. In order to stop or reduce the number of output drops experienced by our interface, we have a few options. First, we can configure the global command QoS Q soft max multiplier to the maximum configurable value. This command increases the relative number of soft buffers an interface can borrow from the common pool by a significant amount. Depending on the model of switch, a maximum of 1200% or 4800% can be configured. Seen on our demo switch, configuring a value of 1200% increases our maximum queue size from 500 buffers to a value of 6,000 buffers, which represents just over 1.5 megabytes of buffering capacity. Second, 
If using a QoS policy with multiple queues, like our example here, you can reallocate buffers from an underutilized queue into more overutilized queues. Looking back at our QoS queue statistics command for the interface, the in queue counters for queues 3, 4, and 5 are either zero or very close to zero relative to the total in queue bytes for all queues. These zero based queue numbers represent the fourth, fifth, and sixth classes in our policy map. The queue buffer ratio config within each policy map controls the relative amount of soft buffers available for that queue. In order to increase the buffers for our queue with loss, we need to first remove these buffers from the queues that are underutilized. Changing these three values from 10% to 2% each allows us to allocate the newly freed 24% to the last queue which is experiencing loss, bringing its ratio to 49%. Finally, assuming all traffic on the interface is legitimate and cannot be reduced, and if increasing the softmax multiplier and increasing the relative buffer ratio of a queue is unable to reduce or eliminate the output drops from happening, migration to a higher speed interface is required. This concludes this video. Thank you for the time you took to watch it.